Happy Monday. As you can see, this is another week in my teacher life video. If you are new here, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. I am an eighth year, third grade teacher, and I just love sharing my teaching journey. I've been working on my teacher corner. As you can see, I put up the tapestry that I mentioned. This is one of my favorite phrases, progress, not perfection. I know a lot of the times, a lot of us want to see, you know, everything in our life turn out the way we want it or how we want it to look or um, it always has to be perfect the first time around, but I just feel like this quote is just a great reminder to have grace. And it's also a great reminder for the kids, you know, just to see that and remember to just do their best. I also added the calendar that I got and I love it. it just came in the mail, it goes all the way up until December, 2022. So I will link this below if you guys like it. I love that it's colorful. And as you know, I don't like that the fire extinguisher is right here, but this makes it look a lot nicer. So I'm going to go pick up my students and I'll fill you guys in after with how our day went. Hey guys, I am just so exhausted, definitely. I can tell it is nearing the end. Um, I had a great day with my students, but as you know, this job does get tiring because you're working with so many different personalities, so many different work styles and work habits and learning styles. So yeah, so today we obviously did our do now and I just had them do their writing time and I asked them how was that. I accidentally left my laptop in Southern California this weekend. So unfortunately, I won't be getting it till tomorrow because a friend's bringing it. We couldn't have our coffee shop music. I just used my phone. I'm so tired to the point that I just can't even talk right now. Oh my gosh. So I asked them how their weekend went and they got to write in their writing journals for that. We did our last rough draft paragraph for our animal research, which was the conclusion. And then tomorrow we're going to start our working on our final draft. So I'll be able to show you all that tomorrow. And then we had our break and our snack time. I actually got one new student today and he's actually my student from my Zoom class, but he really insisted that he come in, you know, for the last few days to like hang out with, not hang out, but you know, be in the classroom environment and get to have me as his in-person teacher for at least a couple of days right because we only have tomorrow then wednesday and then next week there's no school on monday and then we have tuesday wednesday june 2nd is going to be the last day of in person but yeah so i was like oh it's so sweet that he you know got to come in and he really wanted to see me and he gave me he said that he went to six flags this past weekend and he got me this like really cute little panda keychain so i'm just gonna go ahead and put this right here I love it. So yeah, I'm going to get out of here. I am exhausted. I will definitely vlog more tomorrow about my Tuesday. I'm going to go pick up some things from Party City, some balloons. I want to make like a balloon countdown. This is something that I've done in recent years with my students. If you would like, go check out my Instagram. You can find some of the pictures I've posted there from previous years of my balloon countdown. So it's definitely not my original idea. Well, the lights just turned off. So I guess that's that and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hello and happy Tuesday. I am so excited for today because I just bought balloons for our countdown for the end of the school year. These are the balloons I bought. I went for more of a like rose gold cream color and I'm super excited to put them up on there. I'm going to move a lot of these things and put them into those cabinets and just make some space for this countdown. So this is what the countdown turned out like. I started over here with the 10, since we only have 10 more days um, and it starts tomorrow. So it's gonna go all the way to the one over here. And I actually didn't even need the tape. I luckily have some um, bulletin board there. So I just used safety pins, not safety pins, push pins to put the balloons here. And then at the top I have 
like these um, clips bulletin board clips so I just put the rest of the balloons there and then for this one I had like one of these um, clip on magnets if you want to see another example of one that I've done in the past you can go to my Instagram Miss Balderas and you can see exactly how I've done it in the past as well so this time I used my whiteboard but I've done it in the back um, using a bulletin board before as well. So I am officially exhausted. Tuesday is over. We did our usual, like our routine, our do now, our animal research. But this time I actually, I passed out their final copy. So this is the front page where they write the name of their animal, what they, um, a picture of the animal, and then their name at the bottom. And then the first page is their introduction. And then they go on to their characteristics and then they go on to habitat, life cycle, diet and survival, or I think it was the other way around, but you get the point. And then conclusion. So these are, I will link it below, but these are off of Teachers Pay Teachers. I've been using this exact template or booklet for probably about mm, seven years now or so. I'm definitely interested in making my own. Like I know that I, I absolutely love TPT. I'm always on there looking at things, but I sometimes can't quite find exactly what I want or what I envision in my mind, which is why I'm considering on maybe somehow or someday doing my own work or you know put, putting it on TPT because I do have a lot of ideas, but I don't know, we'll see. I feel like it's a lot of work, obviously, but I feel like, you know, if I if I need it in my classroom and if I really want to use it, maybe there are, there are others that want to as well. I'm just feeling a little ugh today, I guess, because I feel like there hasn't obviously been consistency in who shows up and who um, comes on which days, or, you know, some students are missing some of the days, some students miss a whole week and they show up the next week. So it just, there hasn't been that consistency except for about maybe two students. So a lot of them like haven't been able to work on their paragraphs as much and I haven't been able to help them as much. And yeah, so, I mean, it's way more difficult than normal school. Like during the normal school year, I feel like there's a lot more consistency, but because of you know, the situation, the hours in the day, you know, COVID, you know, symptoms, they're not vaccinated yet, all that stuff. It's so much going on in these last few weeks and in this school year. So yeah, but I'm very excited for tomorrow. We're going to be popping our first balloon and I'm so excited to get that done. Yeah, I am exhausted. I'm going to go home and just relax and get ready for tomorrow. So I'll try and record tomorrow more during the day and you know show a little bit more of what we're doing in class so see you guys then oh my goodness you guys i am so late today i'm sorry if it's a little wobbly but yeah so i am super late today but look at this i love the countdown balloon stayed up thank god um today we're going to be popping the tent number 10 so the 10th one at 3 30 so i'm going to actually be having my students in class um experience that but i'm also going to have my students my zoomers experience that too so they're going to be signing on to the computer around 3 um 3 25 3 30 and then we're going to all just pop that 10th balloon and i'm going to try to do that for every single balloon but we'll see how it goes. Also, I'm super excited because today I'm actually, I was asked to do a teacher tag. So I'm going to be filming that after work today. So if I don't get to vlog as much after work, that's why I just want to, you know, focus on getting that video in. So we just finished our class. It was such a good day. It was honestly super chill. Like we just did the do now and then we they finished up a lot of their animal research. I think a few of them only have like a couple more pages to do, but I only had three students today. So like I couldn't really go into much else, but it was still nice. And then they had their spring pictures. They had to go take that. And we also did pop the balloon. It was so cute. Like they got to do the little countdown, had some of my students on Zoom hop on in and watch that happen. So that was really nice too. But yeah, so that was most of my day today. And now I'm going to work on my teacher tag video. So I'm excited for you guys to see that. 
Hey guys, this week has actually been just so hectic, but happy Friday. Yesterday, I actually decided to take the day off on Thursday and work on report cards. Those do take quite a bit of time and I'd rather not use my planning time to, you know, work on those. So I just thought it would be convenient to take a day off. And also it just worked out that later in the day, I had a hair appointment. So I got my hair done. Finally, having curly hair is such a like process you have to take care of it you just have to like really maintain it really well it was about time that my hair got taken care of um but yeah so this is my new look i got uh one a little bit lighter for the summer so i'm really happy about that so today i'm actually already done with work i this morning woke up i did some more lesson planning for next week and then finished up some like report card things had a couple of meetings we did do our book club presentation with our groups that i had mentioned in a previous video and they went so well and i learned so much from all the other book clubs and then had lunch and then we met with the ILT group. So the ILT group basically is the instructional leadership team and there is one representative from each grade level and we all meet and talk about our goals for the school and our plans for next year. So we're going to be presenting that next week to our staff. But yeah, so now I'm done and I'm actually just going to enjoy my weekend. I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog right here. Thanks so much for joining me this week. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you're new here, please don't forget to like and subscribe. I would really appreciate it and I hope to see you guys next time. Bye. Thank you.